So I'm about to record a video and I'm looking at myself and the eyelashes look so dumb. Like literally I can't, I cannot do the eyelash life anymore. Like they look stupid. Like they're so big and uneven. I think I'm getting over my eyelash phase, but now I feel like I look ugly. So I think I'm gonna throw on some mascara. Let me get back to you. Okay, I feel like I look a lot better. <laughs> I think I'm out of my eyelash phase. Like, I feel like they look good whenever you're about to go out and you have on like a full face of makeup, but I just threw on eyelashes and it looks stupid. Like it looked, it looks crazy. So I put on a little bit of mascara, but I don't have any like um, face makeup or anything on. I just have a little bit of eyeliner. So anyways, besides the point, I have gotten a huge request on doing tips on becoming a server slash like pros and cons lists. Um, on becoming a server in my last few videos. So I think I'm gonna do that for you guys today before the new year starts, you know? So yeah, this was highly requested. I've gotten a lot of comments on it and my last like what I make in a week, my server videos. So we're gonna jump right into it. So first I'm gonna kind of start off with the pros and cons list and then we're gonna move on to the tips on becoming a server. So if you don't know, I am a server. While well, I'm in school, easy, money, good money. Yeah, eh. That's like my whole personality at this point, a server. So let's start off with the pros and cons list. Let's start off with a pro. One pro is it's awesome money. Like when the day is good, it's really good money. And it's short shifts. Like I could work four hours and I will make at least 100 to $150. But a con is when it's a bad shift, it's a bad shift. So I could work four hours, but only make $40, which is rare because a lot of people do tip 20% or more. And a lot of people can be generous, but when the money is good, it's so good. But when the money is bad, it's bad. So it's not always guaranteed money, you know? So yeah, that's my number one pro con. Let's move on to the second one. My second pro is that you get the money right away. You do not have to wait two weeks for a check. And that's in most restaurants. You do not have to wait your full two weeks. You get the money that night. So let's say you have a bill to pay. You go to work, work a four hour shift, and then you have the money immediately. I'd say a con is that you cannot, you don't have like, you have a scheduled time that you get off. Let's say you work like 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. You're supposed to get off at 4 p.m., but if you have a table that comes in and sits in your section at 3.59, you have to take that table until they leave. So maybe you're supposed to get off at 4, but you're not going to leave there till 5 because that's when your last table leaves. Does that make sense? And yes, that sucks, but that's extra like $20 in your pocket. But sometimes they will let you like give your table away, like to the person who's coming into your section. Like you have a three table section and then someone comes and replaces you at 4 p.m. So let's say your person comes, you can give your table away, but that's kind of stupid because that's extra money in your pocket. I'd say another pro with serving is you have no side work. Well, the restaurant I work at, you don't have side work. You do your job, you roll silverware, and you leave. Like, you don't have to, like, clean out the teas. You don't have to, like, sweep them up the freaking lobby. Like, they have certain people to do that. You do have to sweep your section. But besides that, you roll your silverware and you leave. So that's a really good plus, I would say. I'd say a con is the amount of Karens you get in a restaurant. Like, let me tell you something. People do not play about their food. Okay, when people are hangry, they're gonna come in a restaurant hangry, and hangry is like the worst freaking mood someone can be in. And they have a lot of hangry Karens that do not play, that do not play. So, you know, be on guard for the Karens. I'd say another pro is you get free food. I mean, in most restaurants, I think you get free food or at least 50% off. So, like, you get a little deal. Okay, I that is a big pro to me um but i think in most restaurants you get at least some type of food for free and then you get 50 percent off for certain things like i said depends on the restaurant depends on the food but that's a big pro i think that's all i really have for a pro slash con list now we're gonna move into tips on becoming a server kind of like give you an outlook give you some tips and tricks type of deal. I keep messing with my hair, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's bothering me. I'm kinda, 
I've gotten a lot of comments like give me tips on being a server so I'm gonna try to like break it down as much as I can I don't really know what you mean by tips because you kind of just do the thing like you do your job but I'm gonna try to break it down as much as I can so the biggest tip I could give you is just flip your tables fast and I don't mean like rush the customer but what I mean is like when you get a table be quick try to get their drink get their order try to get them out as soon as you can but let them take their time and then hurry up and try to clean the table like don't make them feel rushed but you know flip the table quick you know what i mean because that way you're showing the host that the host that seat you that you're you're on it and you want more tables and the more tables you flip and get clean the more that they can sit you and the more money you make Another thing is memory, memory skills. Like you need to remember like their drinks, their food. You need to remember the menu. I'd say study the menu as much as you can. Um, and sometimes like people are ordering really fast and it's hard to write everything down. So memory is a big, a big tip. You wanna remember everything just in case, you know, you forget something. You don't wanna have to go back to the table and ask them, what drink did you get again? You don't wanna do that. You want everything to run smoothly. You want it to go quick so you can flip your table and get more tables. But like I said, do not make them feel rushed. Another tip is you need to have personality, okay? And you need to have personality so your customers come in and you get regulars so a regular is peop the same people who come in they're going to keep asking for you because they love your personality and they love the way you act that's how you get regulars you, you boost up your personality you make them feel welcome you make them feel like you want to conversate with them and they're going to come in and they're going to ask for you and they're going to give you better tips i'm telling you right now and let me tell you something else even if you get the biggest karen rude rudest person in the world your manager is always going to say the customer is always right and you're just going to have to fake it till you make it, you know, still try to get that tip. Also, another tip I could say is try to practice like multitasking because some days you will get double sat and by double sat, I mean like someone's going to, the host is going to sit you a table and not even a minute later, they might have to sit you another table at the same time and you're going to have to kind of work both tables because maybe there wasn't enough servers on maybe one of your regulars came in and asked for you and they're going to sit them immediately because they don't want to wait at the front door so multitasking is a big a big tip okay and my last final tip that i'm going to give y'all is to stay consistent and keep ask don't aggravate the table but like pay attention to the table like make sure you're on top of it get their refills get them napkins, get them stuff they didn't even ask for because it shows that you're paying attention and it shows that you're a good server and they're going to ask for you again and they're going to give you a big tip, pretty much. Honestly, I cannot think of any more pros slash cons. I can't think of any more like I don't know my mind's kind of blinking but this was a highly requested video on my last like two serving videos so i wanted to do it for you guys i hope i did a good job but mm, i don't know i didn't write anything down i'm kind of going off the top of my head but honestly i gotta get ready for work so i'm about to go get ready for work and yeah um i hope this did help somebody if you have any questions just comment down below if i left anything out just comment down below and i will answer your questions but that's all i have off the top of my head i really wanted to get this video done for you guys um so yeah if you have any questions just comment down below